Welcome to another episode of Battle of the Game. Games. My here my with voice. all of Board and Scale, the four of us <laughs> here together, all of us. Today we have Dominant Species Marine, which is my number one. Uh, to be fair, to be transparent, when I say that Dominant Species Marine is my number one, I more am talking about the original game, which I do have. It's just not... It's in the car. It's not... Yeah, it's in the car. So I didn't want to go grab it. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast, <laughs> Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. Another vendor spotlight. At the Penguin's the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, right, right. In Dominant Species, it is a action programming worker placement game in which you and a few other species are vying for control and domination on the growing earth <laughs> as an ice age, as total ice age approaches. So throughout the game, you're going to be using those actions to populate areas of the earth with your species, with different types of food resources on the different types of terrain on which you'll be vying for a population majority to score more points. And after all those actions, you have what's called domination. That if people do it, it's pretty Total good scoring. It is the timer of domination. the game. Domination. So you do, the, you do your spreading your population, competing with other people, which is murdering them. Um, adding to the map, placing more food on the map so that you can survive. And then adapting to the different domination cards or using them as weapons to completely obliterate a single person because they did something small to you the turn before. <laughs> but yeah, that's Dominant Species. Um, it is my technical number one. And we'll start with our ratings with Kinsey. Why would you start with me with this one? Because we go left. Yeah. To get, oh the, my Lord. to get the, cur- the bad one out the way yeah, first. Yeah, can only go up from there. Okay, so this is one of my <laughs> husband's favorite games, and we play it two times a year. We, as in like me and her, I play it more with other people when they give me the chance. I play it twice a year because he requested it, and that is on Father's Day and his birthday because I refuse to play it at any other time. I'm pretty sure this play, when we played it, was for your birthday, which is why we played it for BOTG because I was not doubling up. I think that was and giving cheating. it an extra play. No, it was not. Nope, 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 nope. But it's okay because if you're going to be at FlingCon, I will be bringing the original game to play with everybody. Quick plug. Mm, this will not be up by the time FlingCon happens, though. So, people of the past, I hope you enjoyed playing the game with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. If you enjoy games where you're specifically picking species that you don't want to live and killing people off and picking cards that are wiping species off the planet. And if you don't take things to heart, this is a good game for you. I'm not that person. And I think that that really skews my rating on this game because I just get so angry every time I play it. And it just is upsetting every single time. Um, I've actually gotten a lot better than when we first started playing games though. Um, the first time we played this game, and the worst part about it is I almost always win. And that is honestly even more frustrating because then Sebastian gets mad at me because I was mad the whole game because I am a little baby and I get upset when anybody comes after me. Um, but I just, I don't like direct combat games. Not my thing, not what I'm into. Therefore, this game definitely has a way lower rating than it probably should have because it is, in general, a really smooth playing good game. Um, so I would probably give it. It's okay, I won't look. I'm trying to think of what I would rate this. Like, it's hard to give it a number because I just. No, no, I'm don't just... don't try and rate it like objectively rate it. Based on your opinion, how you feel about I, the game. I am. Let no, you're trying to dig you. and balance what you think about what your personal opinion is with like how well the game is designed. That no, doesn't matter. I'm trying to base it on what I think about it and how I feel while I'm playing it, but also how the mechanisms work together. That's what I said. And how like, 
Okay. F off, man. That's how a rating <laughs> is supposed to be. No, it's just your personal opinion. It's not of the supposed game. to be on emotional bias. Yes, it is. Because if it was emotional bias, it'd be a fucking zero. Cool. But then I don't want zero. it to be a zero because it shouldn't be a zero. It's, if that's what you want to rate it, if you get absolutely zero enjoyment out of it, then it's a zero. But that's not true. Okay. <laughs> we don't <laughs> have much time. <laughs> anyway, I would I would probably honestly give this game a six. I'd probably give it a six. I like it more than the culture. Wow. Okay. Daniel. <sighs> Sorry, brother. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> that was an unneeded jab there. I actually I I do enjoy Dominant Species. As much as you say I don't, I do like it. I played it twice. I played this one, I played Marine, and I've played the OG. I like them both. I do think I like this one more. I do enjoy it. It is very can be mean. Um this has the opposite problem. And long. And long. This has the opposite problem of castles. This game's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> it is ugly. Uh but like if you can get past that, it's it, like it's a game. It is a game. It's a good game, <laughs> is what I meant to say. Um I don't I really like Are you saying castles is not? I'm, I'm gonna finish. Um, <laughs> I mean, what did he give it? I'm gonna finish. Yeah, he, we already did the rating. Um, yeah, it wasn't good. I I do like the worker placement part of it. How it you kind of have to like when I do this, then when it comes back to my turn down here, that might affect what I can do then. Because of course, it's a worker placement. People can fuck you up and timing of things and things like that um i think that's probably my favorite part of it is the 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 way you have to plan i guess plan your actions out i don't really care for the combat or anything like that i mean that's cool but i like the game yeah it's not it doesn't I don't really, really emphasize. know i don't know like what much to say yeah it's it's good. The it combat works. is yeah. not emphasized in in this game, in this version. It's smooth. It plays well. It's just. I would give it a. <laughs> it's it's hard. I'm also going to trickle some information in. A di another difference with this, a, a huge key difference, is that with the actions in the original, you take turns placing all of your pawns one by one. Once they're all placed, you resolve left to right from top to bottom each of the actions so your choice to place upon is is based on just your own personal like assumptions of what a player might do in this version on your turn you place upon you you do the action you resolve the action then so all the information is immediate so people don't have to think about what everyone else's pawns might mean on the board they've already seen the information that changes a lot it's a huge change, yeah. Because then you know, like, what resources people are going to take yeah. from the top that will. Yeah. But I like the tension of the, the first bottom. game and not knowing what's going to happen until it's time to make your decision. I know the I know the ranking is for dominant species. I would give that a seven. I think I'd give Marine an eight. Okay. Okay. I feel like uh, feel like it was difficult for Dwayne to 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 articulate. His, his feelings on the game, and I have the same problem, and I don't actually know particularly why. I know at the end of the day, I enjoy the game. I think it's a good game. I don't hate it. I also don't love it. I don't think I would ever say no to playing it. I'd be really interested to see how Marine does it differently. Um, but I can't really explain, because, like again, the action programming, I think, is actually really cool. It is frustrating in the base one to build or, or like put up, put a pawn down somewhere and then have it do nothing for you because of other players choices. Um, that can be frustrating. So this eliminates that, I guess. Um, yeah. But I'm actually not sure I would actually prefer that or not. I don't know. I um, like the tension of the, of the other way. It's, it's interesting, right? Because you do, you get to see it. You kind of, as you're placing your second, your third, or your fourth actions are, you're seeing what other people are doing and you're not completely 
oblivious to what you think other players might do. You just may not, again, for a new player, you don't know how that may impact you. The other way also forces you to have multiple ways for you to be able to play that pawn. So you can't just focus on one certain like aspect with other people, not knowing what everybody else is going to do. Because if they take one of the, those, the traits, the traits the, the, that go on your board, mm -hmm. the if traits. they take the one that you want and you base yeah. your whole turn off of that, you are screwed. So if yep. you don't have one or a backup that you're okay with having when you're the third person to place it there, yeah. then... Well, so that's where it comes down to when you're looking at the board and you're putting your first thing down, you have to make that choice. You have to say, what is the most important thing for me right now? And we were just playing... Um, when we were playing, um, wow, um, what did we play first? Today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what game did we play? Oh, Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Oh, Encyclopedia. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I brought up the point that, like, sometimes games, you have this, like, kind of space where you're like, I've got two or three turns uh, to try to make something happen. And, you know, if I do A and B, and then if I'm lucky and C is available... I'm going to score big points. And then you do that and C is not available and A and B net you nothing, you know? And it's like, oh, I wasted all that, you know, shot for the moon and you completely miss. Versus like, all right, hey, if I just do X instead of A and B, I'll get half as many points, but I'm guaranteed them right now. And I think that's the same concept with this where you have to make that choice. You have to say, hey, look, I am just going to do the thing that's going to guarantee me what's the one thing I have to do this round this is the most important thing. So if you need that token, you have to prioritize that. Now, obviously, turn order matters, too, because if you are not able to secure that first, what do you, you know, there are ways to manipulate the turn order. You have to prioritize those things. You can kind of go about it that way. So I don't actually, again, like, I don't hate the old system. It can be frustrating at times. Uh, it would be interesting to see the new system. Um, the combat thing. I mean, Ken's your point's valid, right? Especially because there's no, like you start evenly spaced, but it's very quick that you can end up spilling over into different people's stuff. So like Dwayne and I were, were dealing with each other. We had, we had another player with us too. Didn't Isaiah. We? Isaiah was with us. That's right. Uh, we violated our He was our just rule. vibing. Hmm? He was just vibing. He was. <laughs> but because of that. Grasshopper boy. Right? <laughs> because of that, like Dwayne and I were competing. The two of you were competing. Isaiah was there. Wasn't really doing a whole <laughs> lot competition wise, was, like on the competition space of the board. And I don't know, it just, you know, the dynamics are different, right? So, like, if he had been, let's say it was a five player game, it's an odd number of players. So, what if, you know, Dwayne and Isaiah had teamed up against me and I uh, couldn't do anything I wanted to or whatever? It's going to be really frustrating, right? And it's one of those things that may not be like, I'm targeting you because you're, I've chosen to target you. It's, I'm targeting you because you're in the space that I want to be in to be able to get the objectives or do the things that I want to do. Stop um, choosing those objectives that happen to be in the same place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And, and it's a competitive game and I, and I totally understand that, but like it is, it, it, it's impossible to get away from the feeling that you're being targeted. Um, so I kind of understand where that comes from. And um, I think it was funny because this was not the first time in, in the battle of the games games that we've played where Dwayne has been in an area that I firmly believed was my territory and yeah. he had no right to be in. Um, but it's all right. Cause I think I won. Didn't this you one. guys have a truce in the beginning and then it didn't, it went downhill real quickly. No, Wasn't that, that what happened? That was Scythe. Yeah. That was Scythe. Yeah. Yeah. That we won't Scythe. speak of that. Yeah. But um, <laughs> so all that to say, I really, I enjoy the game. Um, I do want to play Marine. Um, yeah, a GMT games is never known for being pretty. That is a good point too. And I think that may have also been a part of the kind of the ambiguous or the ambivalent rating or like feelings towards it is because it is just kind of this blah. You have to like the game. The yeah. art is kind of just like stick on. Sure. Not, not, not even the art. It's just like cubes, cubes and triangles. Blank hexes. See, but when the game is built out, like near the end of the game, when all of the different colors are on the board, yeah. I think yeah. that that looks so And your cool. cones are on the board. <laughs> the cones, yeah. The cones the of cones Dungeon. Of Dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. I love those cones, man. I, I still, it doesn't, it's not enough for me. And this is, we've talked about this before. We're like, could you take a game like this that's a good game, it's got really good mechanisms, and could you make it that much better 
By Dominant Imagine Species, Awaken Realms. Imagine hmm? little squishy snakes. Awaken Realms. Yes, Imagine exactly. I mean, squishy snakes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, anything. Like, there's just, there, there's a lot you could do with this to make it a much more deluxe experience. Um, does it need that? I don't know. The thing is, of course, GMT games, as long as they have the rights to it and they're controlling it, they never will. Because GMT games, I don't think, I can't think of a single GMT games game that, like, was licensed. That's like no, that's glitzy. Oh no! Like no. they are very, they're very efficient. They they focus yeah. you know, the P five hundred system. Very pragmatic. Very pragmatic. Yeah, and and value again. They, they they focus on the mechanics and people who like the mechanics in those games play the crap out of them. Right. Um. So. Um. Yeah. For me, it's a seven seven point five. Uh. Overall. For the original. Yeah. So- I just want to say that for this, this is another difference. But okay, <laughs> um, we have Dominant Species Marine here, but I am going to be rating my experience of Dominant Species the game and the original game. And I will say that I love that game. <laughs> Anyways, my Department rating of Dominant of Species, the first time I played it was with some people that I had met at a random meetup when we lived in Maryland. Wait. They introduced me to the game when we lived in Maryland, sorry. Well, we they introduced together. us to the game. And it was awesome. I loved it since the first time I played. Pretty sure I got last place. And I didn't even care. I was just like, the ten- like I was talking about before, the tension, every time it's your turn, and three, you know, however many are playing, everyone else has placed another pawn, and you're like, okay, so that's still open. And if I place here, hopefully no one takes this, and then I'll be able to go there. I love that tension. I don't know what it is. But... And then you start, you get to resolving and it's just the like of satisfaction, especially when you get everything that you wanted. It's really cool. So another thing with this game though, is it can be very, very unforgiving if you just get absolutely screwed in the very beginning. So like you can get completely wiped off. You can just get completely killed off. If you run out of guys and you have no more guys to place onto the map, you're just screwed. It's not common. It would take a lot of intentional targeting for that to happen. It's but never happened. It can be very unforgiving. In if you mess up, it's kind of hard to turn around and come back from it. But anyway, sorry. That's why Sebastian got last because he was not planning for his future turns in that very first game. I was just playing the game to have fun, which is what I do with most games the first time. I just play to have fun. Regardless, Dominant Species, the game for me, <laughs> is going to be probably a nine and a half. That half a point is strictly because the original is fugly. <laughs> it's really, really ugly. And that's the only takeaway I have, the only gripe I have about it is I, I wish it was like, I wish it was just a little prettier, you know? But I, pre- I appreciate its charm that it does have now. And I don't know that if you've seen the co- the the arc the box cover, it's not much different from this. Just think of volcano and dinosaurs instead of and ocean and, and fish monsters. But yeah, nine and a half for me. And that'll do it for our Battle of the Games review for Dominant Species, not Marine, the OG, because we haven't played this one, so we're not counting it. But thanks for watching and subscribe, please. Thank you now. Do it. (laughs) And we hope to see you in the rankings video with this game again. And we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.